down some tech of yo-yo tricks turned into rope dart tricks. This one's a one-arm cradle, a non-stalling one-arm cradle. have to do an elbow shot with it you can do a bunch of stuff with it but it's fun because you get to shorten up your dark tether with kind of like a wrap but it's all around your anchor arm so you're free to do a whole bunch of stuff it's gonna start with uh you're gonna have your dark coming off your anchor a uh, pretty sizable distance and you're gonna have a pinky lead spin in uh, wall plane on your free side When the dart gets to about this angle, at the certain velocity that it is, you're gonna slide all of the slack through your free hand, and you're gonna have about that much length coming off your anchor. When you slide it and throw it, it's gonna go over your neck on your free side and under the armpit on the anchor side. that dart you're going to have it hit your hand come up and try and catch it with your free hand again so your free hand will have the, the tether twice just like that To this mount, got it here. Um, when I when I do my catch, I'm going to have my fingers pointed outwards. It's going to come up, wrap in, and I'm going to have it flop over my hand just like that. technique that we're gonna use we're gonna also try and as it flips over to flip it inside of this negative space here so as it's coming up do our flip and we do that that weird hand technique so that way we can come out with the dart grabbed by the tether and we're completely free of any wraps that are left behind by the cradle now once you're at this point, all you're going to do is slide this off. You can either use your, the back of your hand, or there's a cheater method where you come in, pinch it like this, flip your fingers underneath while you peel off, and that way you can kind of grab it 
and you don't have to rely on the tension as much just because it's kind of a way to cheat your way into getting it down. Once you're in this mount, as soon as you let go of the thumb here, the cradle should just fall off and you're, you're free to go. So in full speed. And we're pulled off. To make this a non-stalling technique, when you do your pass through, you'll just need to keep that dart swinging and maybe go straight into your shot. here the hand technique I use right arm that's the cradle if we did not stall and we continued our pattern straight into that elbow shot Pinky lead in the free hand. Swing over, under, boom. This formation on your body where it's coming from my anchor going through wrapping around and then twisting underneath with this if we shoot the dart out it's just gonna cinch up right on us we're going to slide out by putting our hand and our neck through it we're going to end up with this cradle on our arm that's held together by the pull and the tension of the dart. There's not going to be any pinching or holding. This will be able to pull tight. Um, when we go over the top, it locks in the formation and you can do other techniques with it. When we go under the bottom, the whole formation slides off. Yeah. 